What's up, everyone? Gio here and Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos. We are in the car, and we are getting ready for yet another adventure here in Las Vegas. Juan Carlos, where are we going today? I don't remember. Tonight. You don't? I don't? We're going to Mount Charleston, everyone. It's okay that you don't remember. Juan Carlos is just still waking up. He just got his coffee. Are you feeling a little better? And what else did you eat? French toast. We had some amazing French toast. I googled best French toast Las Vegas and found this restaurant called Jams. It's about 15 minutes off the strip. We took a drive. Was it worth it? Mm -hmm. It was. Yeah. So yeah, I'll put a link down below in the description uh, to the restaurant. So if you're ever in Vegas, we recommend you come out here. I didn't film any footage of it, but uh, uh, suffice to say we enjoyed it. So now we're getting ready to drive about 45 minutes up to Mount Charleston to go explore this area and see what it's all about for a few hours before we come back to the Vegas Strip. All right, we're gonna head up there and see you up in the mountain. So we made it all the way up here on Mount Charleston, and we're currently standing in front of the Mount Charleston Lodge and Cabins. Uh, we're at about an elevation of a little over 7,000 feet, and we started just over 1,000 feet down in the wonderful valley below. Juan Carlos' first time going through the desert. Yeah, it was fun. It was kind of cool, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty cool. The, the drive up here is amazing. You start in the desert and the flatlands, and it's just barren, and then all of a sudden you come around a corner, you're in the mountains, and... You've got lush greenery and beautiful pines and a beautiful, beautiful drive on the way up here. And we're going to go exploring here and make a few stops and do some photography and I'm glad we came up here. Yep. And, and you can see we're wearing jackets too. The temperature is about 20 degrees cooler at least than it was down in the valley. Pretty cool, right? It is. <laughs> anyway. All right, everyone. Check this place out. Look how amazing. So we opted, instead of coffee, we opted for hot chocolate here at the lodge. Find a little table out back, sitting. Peaceful up here, isn't it? It is, yes. It's very quiet and just absolutely beautiful. So let me turn the camera around and show you the view that we're looking at as we drink our hot cocoa. doesn't get quite better than this. And as we always say, Juan Carlos, happiness, happiness is a lifestyle. And this makes me very happy. How about you? Yes. For sure. All right, let's drink our hot cocoa, shall we? How hot is it? Oh, it's good. It is hot. It is hot cocoa. <laughs> it's kind of chilly here. Mmm. <laughs> So good. <laughs> yeah, the sun does feel good. So up here at the, the lodge, uh, we found this great little table. And is all this handmade? Yes, it is. All, all Navajo handmade yes, artisan crafts. Yes, and for our Christmas tree in Costa Rica, we're going to take it all the way to Costa Rica. Wow. We're gonna get one of these with um, a dream catcher. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I like that. And we like the Trail of Tears. Okay. So I think it's this one. Grab that for one card. Oh, yeah. See if that's it. Oh, we gotta oh, get the one. This one doesn't have. See it. if that one has Trail of Tears. Yeah, that one does. I think so, yeah. And this little small dream catcher. So it's got a dream catcher, hand painted. It's and it's wood, grandma. yeah? It's made of wood? No, it's not made out of wood. It's made out of white clay. Oh, it's ah, painted on... Like looks like wood. Yeah. It's painted to look like wood. So white clay. And it's made by my grandmother. My grandmother's an artist on there. Your grandmother made it? Yes, uh huh. Oh, and this? what's your grandmother's name? Pauline Blackhorse. Pauline Blackhorse. So if you are you up here all the time? I try to be. Perfect. 
So we're vloggers, so we're going to put this on YouTube. <laughs> so if you come up to Mount Charleston, come to the lodge and pick Support up the some. locals and yes. get one of this. That's important. I love handcrafted stuff. I love this one. Beautiful. everyone so on our drive along Mount Charleston we, we made it up to the Mount Charleston Lodge and now we're making our way back down and we came across this other place it's called the Mount Charleston Resort uh, and it's quite lovely as well so we're just walking around here checking it out they've got a live band playing out back so we're gonna see what that's about I don't know if it's a private event or not but Oops. <laughs> I, who knows we'll check it out and see we'll let you know <laughs> it's beautiful here though so yeah we wandered into the Mount Charleston Lodge and it's really kind of cool and very rustic in here, just like you'd expect up in the mountains. And uh, what I really like is this really cool fire they have going in the lobby. Nice and toasty and warm since it's in the low 50s right now in the middle of the day. So it definitely gets cold up here at night. Check it out. Pretty cool place. What do you think, Juan Carlos? I love it. Should we check yeah. in? Just we'll stay here. We shouldn't go home? Yes. Back to the Las Vegas trip. We never check out. <laughs> like the Hotel California. <laughs> Except we're in Nevada. Anyway. Hey, Bear. An old school oh, yeah. slot machine. And if you notice the fruit, what you would win is actually gum. So if you lined up, you got cherries, you get cherry gum. If you got oranges, you get orange gum. You would dispense a piece of gum. Early gambling. Alright, so what's really cool, everybody, and unfortunately I don't have my Harley with me, but I do ride an Electric Glide Limited, if you didn't know that. And uh, this weekend happens to be the 18th annual official Las Vegas Biker Fest. And I was just speaking to a lady inside, and there's about 30,000 bikers from around the country and the world, actually, uh, riding this weekend here in Vegas. It's so quiet out here. I feel like we've got the whole entire canyon and mountains to ourselves. What are you looking at? When it says here, I'm like, I love it. Because it is true. Spring mountains are alive. All of the plants, animals, water, snow, air, and people here are connected. Join us in helping to keep this special place healthy and in balance. Yeah, everything is connected. We are all are just one. Exactly. And this is kind of cool because inside the visitor center, they got a little uh, museum all about the ecology and nature that you find up here. 
and for all of my friends down in Costa Rica and throughout Latin America, it's a toro instead of a fox. But I call it a fox. Zorro. Zorro for Juan Carlos. It's kind of fascinating, the fact that the spring mountains over millions of years have been changing. Pretty much all mountains around the world. It's fascinating. And one of my favorite things to see out here are chipmunks. They're just so cute the way they scurry around. Bats are pretty cool too. But chipmunks, they're one of my favorite little critters. All right, everyone, so this is pretty cool. When you come here to the visitor center, they have these uh, polarized things that you look through. And this wonderful artist, Austin Wood Cameron, she went to UNLV and she developed this cool artifact. Check that out, everyone. And if you wave it back and forth, it kind of works on here. You can see the seasons change. That's pretty amazing. Another cool thing to see for free out here in Vegas, your tax dollars hard at work. Juan Carlos is signing the registration here at the visitor center. And the wonderful guide here at the visitor center also gave us this really cool thing called Neon to Nature. And it's basically a guide to all the trails and all the cool things you can do away from the Vegas Strip. Just take a moment and look at the view that you have here at the Visitor Center. Truly, truly, truly spectacular. And this is the back side of the Visitor Center. It is a beautiful complex. So definitely worth to drive and a stop here for a few minutes to check it out. And this is pretty cool. They have basically a photograph of what you're looking at in front of you and around. And they have descriptions of what you're seeing. There's a cave up there, there's some cliffs, and then there's a spot further down to the left where there was an avalanche. And you can look at this and then see it for real right in front of you. That's awesome. And they have a cool little gift shop in here too. So if you want to pick up some sundries and items, you can do so. I like this little t-shirt hat combo. So we made it back from Mount Charleston and uh, hopefully you saw from the footage how amazingly beautiful the place is. And for just 45 minute drive from the strip, it's like a whole other world, isn't it? Oh yeah. I mean, the scenery is breathtaking, the drive is beautiful. And um, yeah, you could spend a good half a day exploring. And if you're a hiker, you can spend more time. Uh, we definitely want to come back next time, bring our hiking boots and go out there and uh, probably spend an entire day, get up really early in the morning and, and explore a little more than we were able to. Uh, but we both agreed our favorite part was what? The scenery. Yes. In, in and the uh, visitor center. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, the National Park Visitor Center on your way up the mountain, we stopped on the way down, um, is actually quite nice. It's very modern. Uh, there's some great information about all the wildlife and the ecology in the, the area. Staff, the staff is very um, friendly. Yeah, the staff was amazing there. So shout out to them if they're watching. Uh, they gave us some great advice. We're very, very informative. And uh, yeah, it was just an overall great experience. And a good example of your tax dollars doing good things here in the United States. So I like that. Um, and uh, so overall, we really, really enjoyed Mount Charleston. And we just wanted to say, as always, thank you very much for watching. And happiness is a lifestyle. And uh, we are living it daily. And so, again, what do they need to do? Subscribe. Please do. Hit that button, everybody. Give us a big thumbs up. And as I already said, thanks for watching. Peace out, everyone.